You ever been out hiking in the woods and stumbled upon something like this? What used to be a tree that I can imagine was mighty and majestic, powerful and strong, a refuge for birds and squirrels, maybe even shade for a couple of those deer I just kicked up over there a minute ago. That's just a stump, a remnant of what it used to be. And it doesn't really take a long or careful examination to understand why. It's hollow inside. There's nothing in the center of it. And I imagine at some point there was a strong storm that came up and because it was hollow, filled with just emptiness inside, it blew over. And all that's left is what you see behind me today. Unfortunately, often as believers in Christ, we can get like this. We can be empty. We can allow unforgiveness, deceit, selfishness, sin to hollow us out on the inside and breaking us down to the remnant of what God has truly called us to be. He hasn't called us to be a stump, but he's called us to be a, a tree, a majestic tree. As a matter of fact, in Matthew, in the, in the Sermon on the Mount, he said, a good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good fruit. A good tree brings good fruit, and a bad tree brings, brings bad fruit, he said. And I think he told the disciples as he was leaving them to wait. Wait in Jerusalem for a few days so that you receive the promise of the Holy Spirit, so that you would be filled with the Holy Spirit. And when the disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit, we see the Apostle Peter preach that first sermon and some 3,000 people got saved. Their hearts were, were turned and the hollowness of their heart began to be filled with the grace and the mercy of God. And they in tune went out. And we stand here today as believers because of those 12 men because they were filled with the Spirit of God. May I encourage you today, be filled with the Spirit. Paul says in Galatians chapter 5, he says, if we, if we live in the Spirit, then let us walk in the Spirit. Let us produce the fruit of the Spirit. You know, the fruit of the Spirit is love. And it's associated with what you see in Galatians chapter 5 around verse 22 joy and peace and patience, goodness, kindness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. He says, you've begun in the Spirit, continue in the Spirit. Today, if you feel like a shell of yourself or that you're not hearing from God, I encourage you to reach out to Him. Ask Him to fill you, to take away those things and to fill you with the Spirit so that you may today walk in the fruit of the Spirit. God bless you. Thank you for giving me a moment of your day. Check us out on YouTube or Facebook, The Church of Skyline. Have a great day.